2018 Lincoln MKX Select. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager at Law MacArthur Lincoln in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over all the standard equipment as well as optional equipment that's available on that Select trim of the 2018 Lincoln MKX. So this will be a great video. If you're doing some research and want to know exactly how the MKX Selects are equipped, the different uh, options that are available, this is a video for you. So go ahead and add this to any playlist so you can refer back to it at any time. Also down in the description you can check out the timestamps for all the different places for the standard equipment as well as optional equipment and the cost on those different packages. So it's going to be a very thorough video so let's go ahead and get started. Talking about standard equipment first, we're going to start with safety first. Uh, now, of course, this is a safe vehicle, and all the MKXs are going to have all the same safety features, but in case you haven't watched any of the other videos, I'm going to go over these real quickly. If you've already watched the premiere video, you can probably skip ahead to the exterior front uh, down in the timestamp down below. Now, for safety, you're going to have the, the driver and front passenger are going to be protected. They have a personal safety system up there that's going to protect them with all kinds of airbags. You're going to have a dual stage airbag, uh, which means it's going to deploy a different size airbag depends on how far you are to the steering wheel and it does have sensors underneath the seat that tell you how close you are to deploy the right size airbag so that you, it protects you but yet doesn't hurt you. So that's a real nice uh, feature there. Also you're going to get side impact airbags too on the seats that's going to protect from any side collision as well as you're going to get the safety canopy airbags that's going to come over and protect not only the front passengers but also the back seat passengers uh, all the way around. So that way that's for any kind of rollover that it might have and it does have advanced track with roll stability control or uh, that's going to really help you stay on your intended path but also hopefully protect from any kind of rollover situation. Uh, so I think you're going to be really protected uh, all the way around the vehicle when it, when it comes to airbags there. Also this does have OSOS post crash alert system and that means that when you're if you happen to be off the road because of an accident it's going to honk the horns, it's going to honk and uh, flash the lights uh, so that way people off the road know that you uh, uh, need help and they can come to your safety. Also it's going to have 911 assist to go along with the Microsoft Sync technology which means if you're not able to get to your phone it's going to go ahead and, and help you call 911 uh, so they can come and help you. So a little bit different than OnStar um, but it direct calls directly to 911 instead of going through OnStar. So that's a real nice system there and again safety is a big concern so we want to uh, let you know of all the different safety features in the vehicle. Now the MKX can come in either front wheel drive or your all wheel drive and the all wheel drive will get that continuously controlled damping suspension so it really makes for a smooth ride with that all wheel drive system. Also it's going to come standard with your six speed automatic transmission with select shift and that select shift means you can go in more of a sport mode or a manual mode uh, shifting there using the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel to, to speed to change those gears up and down uh, with that plus and minus there. Now they come with two different engines uh, available. The standard engine is going to be your 3.7 liter V6 engine. Also you can get the optional 2.7 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine as well. Now let me show you how to get into the engine bay. You can uh, just pull the lever beside the door jam and it's going to release uh, the, the hood just like this. And then you're going to just pull the lever uh, to the left. You're going to move it to the left up underneath here and it releases it so it goes on up. Now uh, that standard engine, that 3.7 V6 engine is going to deliver 303 horsepower, 278 foot-pound of torque with that engine. And for fuel economy it's going to get you around six, 17 in the city, 25 in the highway for your front wheel drive. And your all-wheel drive will be a little less than that. Uh, mainly just in the city. Your highway should stay about the same. And now for that 2.7 liter V6 engine which is an additional cost uh, it is going to ha deliver a little more uh, power to it. 335 horsepower, 380 foot-pound of torque and it really doesn't lose any on gas mileage. It's 18 in the city, uh, 25 on the highway for your front wheel drive and a little less with your all-wheel drive of course in the city. So a uh, really good performing engine and uh, uh, still has some pretty good gas mileage as well for it. Now the grill up here on the front is going to be a chrome grill, split wing grill with a chrome surround that goes around these automatic HID headlights and HID is so much brighter they're also automatic features so that means they'll come on automatically as it gets dark if you have it on that, that setting there. Also it's going to come with the wiper activated headlights too so that means if those wipers are turned on 
the headlights will come on as well. So that's a nice uh, safety feature there. Also, you can get configurable daytime running lights. And that's going to be the LED light, signature lighting underneath the headlights, as well as down here on the lower part of that bumper. And it uh, looks real nice. Uh, you can have that on, set it up for the, those daytime running lights. So that way, it, not only is it a luxury feature, but it really is a safety feature too. So that, that way, if somebody is, even during the daytime, they're not able to see it. Those lights kind of pop, so they, they uh, somehow are able to see a little bit better. So uh, I love that feature as well. And that's part of the select you get an upgrade to. Also some high gloss finish not only in the headlamp assembly but down here in some different spots in those bars that just make that front in front of that vehicle just pop a little bit. Uh, and then uh, the, the Lincoln experiences. Let's talk about those and that's a really a way to welcome you to the vehicle with a series of LED lights around as well as inside the vehicle. So the first one you're going to see as you approach from the front is going to be the LED signature lighting that's going to fade up underneath those headlights. It looks real sharp. The door handles are going to have LED lights in them, so they're going to uh, turn on as well as you approach the vehicle. From behind, you're going to have the LED tail lights that are going to light up across the tailgate. And then beside the vehicle, you get the welcome mat that's going to welcome you to the vehicle. And inside, the ambient lighting is going to fade up as well. Now the standard wheel on your select is going to be the 18 inch premium painted bright machine aluminum wheel. So real nice looking wheel with that Lincoln center cap in the middle. Also here on the mirror, you have body colored mirror caps with the turn signal indicator here on the outside. It's going to have your power heated glass. Also has that uh, nice security approach lamp that lights the ground beside the vehicle under there. And it does have auto dimming driver side view mirror standard equipment on your select as an upgrade you get uh, when you go to select. Uh, and that, that means it's going to dim that mirror for when those cars pass you with those bright lights. So it's a real nice safety feature there. Uh, also with this, you're going to have the power fold mirrors. As you can see, it's folded in now. When you walk up, put your hands in the door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle with that intelligent access. And when you do open up the vehicle and then go ahead and shut the doors, it's going to automatically fold the mirror out into place. And it, with the driver memory, it's going to use the, the position, the mirror, uh, the glass there into the position of the last driver that drove the vehicle. So that's real nice. Also, when you get out of the vehicle and get to your destination, you just press the rigid on any of the doors. It's going to automatically unlock it with intelligent access and power fold that mirror towards the glass. So I uh, love the power fold mirrors and then that's an upgrade when you go to select as well there. Now this does have keypad here on the pillar, which comes in real handy if you want to be able to access the vehicle without having to get the keys out. Maybe you'll leave the keys inside or they're in the house and access the vehicle. You can do that using that keypad there on the pillar. Also comes with remote start uh, too, so you can remote start the vehicle from the comfort of your home. In the settings, you can set it up to, to run for five, 10 or 15 minutes. That's really up to you. Uh, as well as with that, you can cycle through twice with that remote start feature. So uh, that's uh, real nice features as well. And, and then uh, I just uh, really love all that features. Now this does come with the Lincoln Connect as well. And um, that's now standard on all your MK Access. It used to be just a reserve feature, which allows you to connect you to your vehicle using the Lincoln Way app. And that's a free app that you can download. You program your vehicle in there with the VIN number uh, and everything to it. So that way you can be able to remote start your vehicle. You can unlock and lock your vehicle. You can also find your vehicle in those big parking lots. Uh, even schedule remote start times every single day at certain times if you'd like to have an always remote start for you before you go to work. So that's uh, real nice. And comes with embedded modem so you can be able to connect up to 10 devices to that uh, Wi-Fi hotspot there on the vehicle. So uh, great features that go along with that and I like now that it's standard on all your MKXs. Now also to finish out the side here, nice chrome accent around the windows uh, here on the door handles, the lower rocker molding and the privacy glass now is going to give you some cool, uh, a little bit cooler for those in the rear seat, but it looks real nice as well in the vehicle. Now on the back, I'm just going to have a body color rear spoiler up here with a high gloss black finish under there with these pieces that come down the side of the glass too. Rear defrost with rear wiper and it's going to keep that nice chrome Lincoln lettering with a chrome accent that sits right on top of those LED tail lights uh, that are really nice and they go clear across the back of the lift gate uh, which is really nice so when you have your headlights on uh, even the bar in the middle is going to light up so again a nice luxury look um, but also a nice safety feature too has your rear view camera with reverse sensing. So as you're backing up, not only are you gonna get alerted if you get too close to anybody, you're also gonna be able to see behind you as you're backing up too. And then you'll notice a nice rear skid plate back here, satin chrome finish with a nice chrome dual exhaust that's integrated right, uh, real nicely into the bottom part of that bumper. Now this, uh, when you go to the uh, select, you do get not only power lift gate, but the hands-free lift gate. And so that's just a straight kick uh, with your foot in the middle of the vehicle. Let me show you how that works uh, again. Just one little kick in the middle and it's going to open it up. So just give it a kick and back up. Some people think when they're close, if they kick it and it doesn't do it right away, they need to do it again. But actually, if you just kick it and step back, it gives you a few seconds because it, does, it wants you to back away from the, the tailgate so it'll open up. 
Now here in the back, you can see carpeted not only on the floor and those seat backs, but also uh, the sides too on that lower part to keep it uh, quiet for noise. Also, does have your 60-40 split bench seat. Those seats can recline back a little bit, so those in the back seat can uh, have those manual adjustments that recline those back. So that's real nice. They're split too, so that way if one person doesn't want to recline, they don't have to. Uh, so that's a real nice, uh, safe, uh, nice feature in here as well. And then uh, what's great about this is if those will also fold flat if you need a little extra cargo room. But instead of having to go around and flip those levers on those seats, you can just use the buttons back here to go ahead and release it. So you just it's a power release, not a power fold seat. Keep that in mind. So you just press that button and it's going to release the seat so it falls forward and of course we'll do the left side as well and you'll see the left side is a little heavier so it takes a little bit it goes down a little bit slower and sometimes it doesn't go all the way down but if you have something in there you can still easily push that down and get it down and the more you use it the more it'll go down a lot faster too uh, now also you're going to get carpeted mats as standard equipment we always put them in the back of the cargo area but uh, some dealers will put them in the in the vehicles it does have embroidering a link embroidering on the 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 mats for the first row and then you also get a carpeted mats for the rear seat as well back there and then you're going to get a cargo netting and the cargo netting is real nice because you can uh, there's two hooks on both sides up here and then two loops on the bottom part and you can just position that back there put all those small items in there so they won't roll around uh, when uh, you you know those they won't bother you and hit the back of the seats and different things like that and then when you're not using it you can also stow it uh, underneath here where the the cargo area is where your your tire should be also if you're in a state that requires a front tag it's going to be standard equipment it will get they will all automatically come with your front tag bracket if you're in a state that doesn't have a front tag it's a no charge ad to get it anyway so that's why we go ahead and order them with all of our vehicles now as we move to the interior you have two different options of color interiors for you first off you can get the ebony interior which is what you see a lot of your premieres and that's going to be an ebony environment so the dash as well as the lower part of the doors will be ebony your your seats will be also ebony as well and then you have a, a brown swirl walnut finish to it it's going to be a high gloss finish uh, across there so you're going to see that on both sides of your instrument panel on your doors and on your steering wheel so a little bit different finish there also when you go to the cappuccino interior you're going to get a what they call a coffee interior at the top that's that dark brown you're going to see on the dash as well as the upper part of your doors and that cappuccino interior below that so more of a two-tone there like you're seeing with this vehicle here glove box and lower parts of the doors will be that tan interior along with you get the cappuccino seats as well and then the finish is going to be a little different it's an espresso ash swirl uh, finish it's an open pour finish so not a high gloss finish you can actually feel the grains in the wood and i love this finish on this vehicle I almost go to cappuccino just for that the wood trim on it so real nice a finish to it you're also going to get leather seating surfaces nice premier leather seats an upgrade from the premier uh, to these uh, premium leather seats uh, so i really like that the driver's up driver and front passenger get 10-way power adjustable seats here includes the power backrest and the power lumbar with heated seats for both the driver and front passenger Back seat seats three back there. 60 40 split bench seat, as we talked about, for those backrests that can recline back a little bit. Also, you get an armrest that comes out the middle backrest with some cup holders in it. Here on the door, you have power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one touch for those windows there. Uh, also, driver memory for three different drivers. And it's going to memorize your mirror, your seat, and the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, which is an upgrade from the Premier. So it'll, uh, electronically, the steering wheel will go up and down, forward and back, which is a really nice to get it just right. And then uh, it goes real handily with the driver memory because it has easy and entry exit seat. So when you hit, you hit, hit the push button to start, to start the vehicle, it's going to move the seat, the mirror, and the steering wheel to the position of the last driver that drove the vehicle. And since I adjusted them before, it didn't do that. So let me show you again. You just press it. See, so it moves the seat, the steering wheel down into position from that last driver and then when you shut it off it's going to move the seat back the steering wheel up for you so uh, i love that feature also premium leather wrap steering wheel so it's a nice upgrade to your uh, from the premier leather wrap so that's a real nice uh, feel to it cruise control on the left side of the steering wheel with bluetooth and audio controls on the right side of the steering wheel you have two directional pads uh, the one here on the left is going to control your settings and some of those different uh, display options here on the left part of that screen and the right one's going to control some of your sync uh, features that we're going to get to in just a little bit here on the right side like your your cruise and that kind of thing over there and we'll be able to control different functions over there and what you'll be able to view as displayed on that right side there i love the climate how it looks 
when you have the vehicle turned off, you can't see any of the words or the emblems, uh, except for the push button start. And that way you can be able to see that button. So when you hit that push button start to start it, it's going to use LED backlighting to light up all the buttons and the words. Uh, nice look to it, but also there's a function behind it. You don't have to worry about those buttons wearing off over time. Also, dual zone auto climate control so your driver and front passenger are going to have two different temperatures there. Now, here on the right side of the, the, the climate control, you're going to see an auto hold button that allows you to be able to press that button. It'll hold the brake so that way if you're needing to transition from the brake to the gas on a hill or just want to rest your foot, you're going to use that button for that. And then you have your glove box button over here. You just press it and it's going to release your glove box to fall down. So uh, that's uh, really nice. And then also here for your audio controls, there's AM, FM, CD player, Sirius satellite as well. And it does have your new Sync 3 system. That's that third generation voice enhanced recognition system where you can control your audio, your climate, uh, also your phone through there. Uh, and so that's a real nice look. Uh, has your uh, nice flexibility being able to, to use that touch screen. Check out our YouTube video. Uh, we have a Sync 3 video on a tutorial. You check out under our how-to videos exactly how this system works. Also on the left side of the string wheel, or that screen, I should say, you're going to see your push button shift. And with it over there, it gives you a little bit more uh, compartments to be able to store some things in. You'll see a shelf here uh, that you can put some things in. Also a bigger compartment under here that you can put maybe a purse or a bigger bag under there. And then you also get this compartment in here with the smart USB port so you can plug in those smartphones, even put that phone in there if you need to, give you some, some area to put some, uh, some different things in right there uh, as well. So that's real nice, giving you that flexibility. Uh, also, it's going to have your auto dimming rear view mirror up here, uh, standard equipment. It's going to dim that mirror. So if this car's uh, approach you with those bright lights, just like on the side mirror, it's going to automatically dim that mirror. And then you have garage door openers for, th for three different garage doors up here, and that'll work with transmitters. Any any of those transmitters will work. So gates, garage doors, and such like that. And then you also get uh, this little, little compartment here on the left. You press the left button there, and it's going to open it up. It gives you this tray where you can put some little small items in there, maybe change that kind of thing, or wallets. Also then, if you close it and use the right button and open it up to the rest of the compartment, it leaves that tray up against the, the back of it. And then you can have this deep compartment with the smart USB port in here. Also, it has a PowerPoint and it even has a tray for coin in there. So if you want to use that for that, it's illuminated as well. So you can be able to see everything in there too. It has a little slot for wires to come out. So if you want to have that, plug your smartphone in there, you can still shut that and those wires will come out on the side there for you. So ambient lighting lights up the cup holders, footwells, even lights up above the glove box there, across there. This looks real nice. And then your door handles too, so you can be able to see those real easily at nighttime. So again, everything I've talked about so far are all standard equipment on all your MKX Select. Now we're going to run through a couple different packages that are available as optional equipment on all your MKX Selects. And one of those is the Select Plus package, probably the most popular package uh, on any of your MKXs and we order all of our selects with this package. It gets you two great features on the vehicle. One of those is going to be your navigation. So that now that Sync 3 system will have the pinch and zoom capabilities for the navigation. Also come with that traffic and travel link to go along with that. And then the Bliss system. That's a blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to put a light in the mirror on the side that they're coming from, puts a message on the dash telling you the same thing in a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. Again, this is a feature that's probably the most popular feature on your MKX Selects, and uh, almost all of our vehicles will be ordered with this package. Now let's talk about the climate package. The climate package is another popular package uh, for this vehicle. It gets you five features that I think you'll find as a, a great addition to your vehicle. And one of those is going to be your auto high beams. A lot like your automatic headlights, those auto high beams, if you have it set uh, to be able to be activated, uh, when you're, there's no one in front of you, you're in a dark uh, alley, you're maybe even on that dark highway, uh, it'll go ahead and turn those high beams on for you automatically. So you don't have to worry about that. If a car approaches or if you're in town with those uh, bright lights, it'll go ahead and dim that for you. So you don't have to worry about it turning lights on in the city. Uh, it, as long as there's uh, street lights, it's going to uh, it's going to dim that for you already automatically. So real nice feature. If you want to deactivate this, there is that is part in the settings. You just uncheck that box and deactivates that setting. Also, you're going to get windshield wiper de-icers, uh, which is a really nice feature. Uh, if you know if it's uh, cold outside, 
you, those windshield gets defrosted, but those wipers get wet, they freeze up on you, you just can't use them to wipe the glass. Uh, so it comes in real handy to have those windshield wiper de-icers. Also, rain sensing wipers along with that. Uh, so what's great about that is it automatically will turn those wipers on as it starts to rain. And it comes in real handy when it's starting to mist and the light rain where it changes speed on you. Uh, those windshield wipers will go ahead and adjust to that as well for you. And then two features on the inside that you'll find very valuable. One of those is going to be the rear heated seats. So those two outside seats in the back are going to get heated seats as part of this package, as well as you get the heated steering wheel. And the heated steering wheel is going to come in real handy. It's also included in your remote start features when you have that the remote start started for the morning to get to the engine warmed up and the car warmed up. And it'll not only control those heated seats, but also the heated steering wheel. Let's talk about a way to manage your cargo back here. If you use the cargo area a lot, you're going to probably like this package. It's a cargo utility package uh, that's going to be available as optional equipment on your selects. Now with that package you have a lot of features that come with it. One of those is going to be a 110 outlet. Uh, so that's going to come in, that's that three prong outlet for you uh, that's going to be available on this. Also you're going to get a cargo mat that goes in here so it's an, kind of an all weather mat that helps you protect the cargo area with this carpet and such. Also, you're going to get a cargo cover. Now, what's great about the cargo cover is it's a retractable cover, protects it, so you can pull that back here. People can't see the different items you might have in the cargo area. Again, if you use and put a lot of cargo things and you drive a lot and you manage a lot of things back there, that could come in real handy uh, as well. And it's removable too, so you can always pull that out anytime. Also, you're going to get the uh, cargo management system is what they call that to go along with it. And that's, a, that's real nice. It's going to get you some chrome tow hooks in here to be able to, to use to strap some things down. Also, it's going to get you, get you a scuff plate on the back of that, the lift gate scuff plate, as well as a uh, compartment in here. Uh, so I think you're really going to like that. And then underneath here, you also get a little tray compartment that covers up, goes over the spare tire and allows you to, for a little bit more storage to put some things in in there as well. So again, this is a cargo utility package comes in real handy for the person that has a lot of different things that take, they haul all the time in the back of the vehicle. So this might be something that you might be interested in. Let me talk about another package you might be interested in. It's an enhanced security package. Now, this package uh, has some ways to really protect the vehicle from people getting into the vehicle. And it has uh, a perimeter alarm that's included with this package. Also, it's going to have a secondary horn as well. It's going to have a lockable storage compartment in there too, so that way you can be able to, to lock some things up if you have that. Also, an enhanced uh, valet mode that goes along with that as well as a, an intrusion sensor too. So uh, again, that's a, a real nice security package if you really want to protect your vehicle and, and want to make sure you know, nobody gets inside and that they're going to scare it off if they do try to get inside your vehicle with that intrusion sensor. So I think you're really going to like that. That secondary horn is going to make it a lot louder if anybody's coming into that vehicle. So I think you'll like that package. Uh, that's also optional on your select. Let me talk about the last package, and that's your cargo accessories package. Now, this package can actually be ordered through your parts accessories department. Uh, so if you don't get it on the vehicle from the time you order it, it is something you can still order uh, from the parts department. That's your cargo accessories package uh, that includes two features. One of those is going to be a cargo mat. So it's an all-weather mat in there that kind of protects the cargo area. Also a rear bumper protector, and that's kind of come in real handy when you're putting things into the rear cargo area, so that way it doesn't scratch that rear bumper. Now it's time to talk about some standalone options. Now here are some uh, exterior standalone options you can get on the vehicle. Now one of those is going to be the different wheel you can get. You can get an 18 inch painted aluminum wheel. It's actually the wheel from the Premier. And the reason that's an optional equipment for the Select is because if you're wanting snow chains, that's the only one that you can get the certain tires that are available, an all season tire that's available to be able to put those snow chains on. So just keep that in mind as well. Also, you can get the side roof rack rails, uh, which is really nice. They're satin finish to those, so if you want to put those on the vehicle uh, as standalone options, you can do that and kind of dress that up. Also, the panoramic Vista roof, uh, which is a really nice glass roof up there with the power sunshade, and it's going to be a black, completely black roof going back to the rear spoiler, and the rear spoiler will actually be, still be body colored. So that's a real nice look if you're wanting that on the vehicle. Also, the tow package that comes with the Class 2 hitch receiver as well as trailer sway control, and that has a maximum trailer towing of 3,500 pounds with that package. Let's talk about some interior optional equipment, standalone options on all these in here. You can get a different trim in here. So instead of the wood grain trim, you can get that Sonata Spin aluminum trim. So here on both sides of the console, as well as your doors and the steering wheel would be that Sonata Spin. That's a real nice trim. That is the trim that's standard on your Premier's. A lot of times you'll see us order that on our Ebony interior. 
Also, you can get the all-weather floor mats. So there are four mat floor mats that go in here for the footwells and the, the front seat, as well as the back seats back there. And these are also uh, available uh, through our Ford, Ford Accessories Department, too. So you can always order those after you order the vehicle. You don't have to order them from the factory. Revel Audio Sound System. So now you can upgrade that sound system to a 13 speaker with HD radio Revel Audio Sound System. So real nice quality sound system that's available uh, for the select trim. And then the back seat, there's a couple options back there that are optional as well. And that's the rear inflatable seat belts. So those two outbound seats can have those airbags on those seat belts. So for those front collisions, it'll go ahead and deploy those airbags. So hopefully they won't get hurt from any kind of front collision or side collision with those uh, rear inflatable seat belts. Uh, very low cost uh, option as well, I might add. And then the headrest and DVD players. So this is also a, an option you can get through the Ford Accessories Department. So you can order that after you order the vehicle if you want. Uh, if you order it from the factory, it's going to get shipped ahead of time. And we'll put them on in here at the dealership anyway. And that's a dual headrest DVDs. Uh, so place two different DV DVDs. They are two totally different systems with headphones that go along with that. Uh, so it's going to come in handy. Keep those kids back there so where they don't have to fight. You can play, play different videos. Uh, even can plug in video, video gaming systems with those as well. Now a luxury vehicle like this deserves some luxury privileges and you get that with a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper uh, warranty also a six-year 70,000 mile powertrain warranty. Also for that first four years 50,000 miles you're gonna get pickup and delivery. What that means if you live within 30 miles of a Lincoln dealership well, they'll pick up your Lincoln vehicle, service it, detail inside and out and bring it back to you and leave that Lincoln loaner for you for the day. So that way you're going to ha still have a nice Lincoln vehicle to drive uh, while yours is being serviced. If you don't live within 30 miles of the dealership or like to bring it off, drop it off yourself, you still get that Lincoln loaner as well as a Lincoln clean uh, for you as well. So you can drop that vehicle off, go run some errands in our vehicle, we'll service it, detail in and out, and then let you know when it's ready. So that's also a great uh, way to get your vehicle serviced and have a nice luxury experience like this. Check out our website, LawMacArthurLincoln.com. They're in each one of our vehicles. You can check for availability, schedule a test drive. You can see pictures as well as you can pull up the original window stickers on all of our vehicles. Uh, so you can see that, that standard equipment we talked about as well as the different optional packages and standalone options that were ordered on that vehicle as well. And then you're going to see that MSRP price. When I, I mentioned that MSRP price, you can find that on our website with our discounted low price as well. We have a, a low price guarantee, so you can really make sure you get a really good price there. If you're watching this video and you don't live with it, real close to us but you'd like to do business with us keep in mind we'll do free shipping if you just mentioned you saw this video on our YouTube channel so uh, definitely keep that in mind and uh, use that as a benefit for you as well to get a nice Lincoln vehicle from a dealership you trust uh, as well so so check that out. If you have any questions about that, you can call or send us a text message, 785-378-5031. Uh, uh, again, a great and easy uh, dealership to work with. I think you'll find this very knowledgeable and very helpful for you in your search for your next Lincoln vehicle ship or your Lincoln vehicle. So uh, I hope you like this video. Don't forget, if you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that way you can get subscribed to our channel. You can, uh, we can pop up in your subscriptions as well as if you hit that notification bell, you can get notified every time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel so keep that in mind as well if you did like it go ahead and hit that that like button as well as go ahead and uh, leave any comments down below if you thought this is a good video it doesn't take but a second go ahead and leave your comments uh, let other people know that this is a great video if they're wanting information on the select trim of this uh, MKX this is a video they need to watch so I uh, hope you enjoyed it as well and until the next time we'll see you later